Hello there, this is Rob Cunningham and to show you how to set up a website on um, DreamHost. First of all, I'm going to show you purchased the domain name. Um, I've registered it for a year. The domain name is running a website, uh, running a web design business.com and that I've done that at GoDaddy. I'm just going to show you that you have to set name servers in the domain name registrar and these you get from DreamHost and there's three of them there. You do it at GoDaddy, you click there on set name servers and along comes a pop-up box where you put the name servers in. This is the same for any hosting account um, these happen to be the ones for DreamHost. Next thing you do is go into your DreamHost panel and you've got to set up the domain. So you go to Domains on the left hand side and then click Manage Domains. And here you simply add a new domain. So you simply put the name of the domain, um, decide whether you want the www before it or you want to leave it off. DreamHost gives you the nice option of setting up a Google Apps for Business mail account for you, so I usually tick that there, and then just click fully host this domain. And then it will say running a webdesignbusiness.com has been added to your hosting system, and you'll soon be able to upload to that website. So now I've done that, I've logged into my DreamHost account on my FTP client, FileZilla, and I can see already straight away I've got running a website business.com folder in there and DreamHost has put default files in there. So if I go to the website, that will show the DreamHost default page. What you can do in order to set up WordPress now is you could just go to goodies and one click install in your DreamHost panel and then you could choose WordPress from the list of CMSs that you can install. But DreamHost actually um, puts a load of rubbish in there. They put a lot of extra themes and plugins that I don't want. So I tend to do a custom install. And to start that, I go to WordPress.org and download the latest version of WordPress. So here it is, I've downloaded it from WordPress and there is all your usual WordPress files. So what you do is upload all of that to the root of the domain. And then while that's cooking, you can set up your MySQL database, username and password. And that again is under goodies, MySQL databases. Scroll to the bottom and create a database name that you don't think you're going to forget for the website. Create a new host name, create a new user and a password and add the new database. And it says it'll take about five or ten minutes to do that. So while it's making the new database and while that's uploading, you need to create your WP config file and in the WordPress files that you can download from the WordPress.org site, they have a WP config sample.php. And in here, you put in your database name, username, password, etc. And in here, you put the MySQL that you set up in the DreamHost site. And you save that as wpconfig.php. Okay, so I've saved that as wp-config-php and I've put the wp-config-php into the root of the website along with all the other 
WordPress files that I put in there. They've all gone in now, and so now if I go back to the site and refresh, you'll see that WordPress has installed and all that remains for you is to fill out the site title and use, use uh, the admin username and password and then you've got your website running. So now that you've done that you can just go back to the home page of the site and there it is with the 2012 theme installed, your new website. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you.